38 in this. What's wrong with you, Tanya? Ain't nothing wrong with me, nigga. Shit. Well, your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JB? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Yeah, whatever. JB, look, JB gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house. You know what I'm saying? The business, everything. And you his cousin, nigga. You said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about touring cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'ma show you. Come on, shit. All right, then. Shit. You win everything. Hey, look, let's make this quick. I got shit to do. Nigga, you need to slow it down. Tanisha was right. All right, shit, where we going? Trucks at the Davis Sheriff Impound. Oh, man, how did I get dragged into this? We both know you always been sweet on me. <laughs> Shit, Franklin Clinton. Shit, your ass must be high or something. I told you, I don't do that shit no more. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste. But I'm doing good, boo. Your eyes don't lie. Whatever you say, girl. Come on. truck. Let's go bring the cha-ching, homie. Like ugly on your mama. 10-9, come again? I didn't catch that. It's Tanya, fool, and my boy Franklin. We filling in for JB. Uh, copy that. Uh, hi, Tanya. Car's a junker. Been there for days. 10-7. I'm gone. A bucket. This one should be easy. Shit, not easy enough for JB to drag his ass out of whatever crack house he laying in. His loss, yo gain, sugar. Except I ain't gaining shit, sugar. Move that seat back, and you know I'll make it right for you. That ain't what I'm saying. Damn, Tanya, what the fuck happened to you? Like no one knows. 
girls in this apartment, beg your pardon. Oh, I rap, baby. How old are you? She say 22, I say 23. Okay, we are. Okay, I seen JB do this a hundred times. Back up close. Make sure the hook is down. And it should slide right in. Hey, baby. Back it up nice and steady. Okay, we are in, baby. Let's get this back to the lot. Hey, this was not how I saw my day going. So I ain't seen you around the hood much? I've been trying to branch out. Can't stay in Chamberlain Hills forever. Oh, nigga got airs now. I remember you before you was a wannabe when you just was. And I remember you and JB before y'all was dope head. Shit changes. You the one all turfed up. JB smoking, but he ain't smoking homies. He out here grinding, towing cars, paying bills. For real. Because I could have sworn it was me out here towing cars for him. And looking damn fine doing it too, baby. Oh, damn, time for some propaganda. Breaking news. A gang shootout in Puerto del Sol. Excitement is building for Life Invaders' new product launch. A breakthrough in the notorious Leonora Johnson case. The Sonora Desert, a hotbed. For okay, we make the drop where they got the area's marks. They get real finicky when we don't leave it in the right place. A quiet cul-de-sac erupted in gang violence as a bloody massacre left several Vagos gang members dead. A trail of devastation. Okay, you got it. Release that baby. Please don't know if this means drug wars between Hispanic gangs. I'll see you on the block. Anything you need, you holler at me. Now, where is that fool? Is that Pete? It's Tanya. You don't want the one Tanya? No! ...to sacrifice in exchange for the illusion of relevance and popularity. Life Invaders CEO Jay Norris will unveil the product himself on live television. Since 1975, the brutal murder and dismemberment of starlet Leonora Johnson has remained unsolved and captivated conspiracy theorists. Now, there may be a breakthrough. Ira Richards, vice president of marketing at Richards Majestic and grandson of movie mogul David Richards, told a reporter that his grandfather claimed to have destroyed a confession letter in the weeks before his death. Mr. Richards Sr. passed away last year at the age of 103. His son, Solomon Richards, has...